So you've done an edit, it's an hour and a half long, and you think to yourself, okay, I think I'm finished. I'm ready to render it out. What if you render it out and it's got little gaps, little black spots here and there where you haven't missed, you've missed a couple of frames, or you've got big gaps where you just weren't paying attention? Well, this feature is called Delete Gaps, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up just like this. So how do you set up this Delete Gaps feature? Well, now you've got all your footage down here, you've got a lot of gaps in it, you don't wanna go through and scroll in every little bit. So you go up to DaVinci Resolve up here, click on Keyboard Customization, type in the search bar over here, Delete Gaps, there it is there. Double click on it and give it a key. I'm gonna give it a keystroke thing called C because it's not assigned to anything else and go save. So you click on D and it says that you've assigned that key to something else, then maybe don't use it. But in my case, in my case, C is clear and free to use and just call it delete gaps. Okay. Go close. Go back to your timeline. If you hit the C key now, it will close those gaps for you and save you heaps and heaps of time. This next one's great for beginners because not many people know about it. It's inside the inspector. You may already know about scroll, zoom, position, all that kind of stuff. But did you know that if you hold the Alt key, you could zoom slower, position slower, so it gives you more of a finite adjustment. And while we're here, did you also know that if you click on the name zoom, click on the name position, for instance, it will automatically reset back to zero. So if you make a mistake, you can go back to zero and keep going rather than having to type 0.00 and every time you do it or trying to scroll it perfectly. If you're a beginner and you're new to DaVinci Resolve, then you're going to love this next video here, which is 36 shortcuts that you really have to know to make your life a lot easier. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.